Your time now is 944. Thank you for staying with us. You have just one more week to view a popular exhibition at Renolda Museum in Winston-Salem. It's entitled Smith and Libby Two Rings, Seven Months, One Bullet. And the exhibition's on display through just this Sunday, December 31st. So joining us now is Phil Archer. He is the director of Renolda House and also the curator of this Smith and Libby exhibition. Thank you for coming on and chatting with us again. Good morning, Jackie. So we last spoke to you when this exhibition first was opening, but can you remind viewers of the premise of it? The exhibition explores what remains a great mystery in Winston-Salem history, which was who killed Smith Reynolds. Uh, he was the youngest of the four children of R.J. Reynolds and Catherine Smith Reynolds, and he was shot uh, in July 1932 in a bedroom porch at Renalda House. And his wife, who was a Broadway comedic uh, singer and a rising star in the, in the 20s, 30s, was indicted for first degree, degree murder, as was his best friend. So Libby Holman was his wife, Albert Walker was the best friend. So naturally it, it captured the nation's uh, imagination during the depression, it became uh, the scandal of 1932 really. And the family requested that the case be dropped. So that has meant that in the 90 uh, some odd uh, subsequent years, nobody really knows what happened that night. So Hollywood has had a number of cracks at the story. A number of authors have written books. This is the first time that Ronalda House has shared uh, what we have in the archives and in storage that can give a pretty complete picture of what might have happened that night. So what has been the guest reaction so far to this exhibition? And have they come in with even questions that aren't even uncovered there? Um, I was anxious that there would be disappointment that I didn't crack the case. <laughs> uh, I think we may never know exactly whose finger or how many fingers were on the trigger that night. But I have found to our, you know, we have all found to our, our, our su surprise and pleasure that people enjoy the, the challenge of, of being invited to solve it themselves. People that uh, enjoy mysteries are drawn to it. People that are, in, are interested in Broadway history are drawn, aviation history. So there's a lot of thought-provoking elements to it. I'm finding that older residents find the exhibition a great relief because this has been a sort of taboo topic. You know, t taboos are held in deference to power and Reynolds, th that name and the company uh, were have been bastions of power and p people have avoided, I think, the topic over the decades. So I find older residents find it relieving that finally we can talk about it even though we don't really know exactly what happened it's at least you know, permissible now to talk about it because it's a story with a lot of human interest. And it's also probably getting more young people to learn about it as well. So many people come into Renolda Village in general, especially from the Wake Forest community. So you're really expanding the education there. I'm curious for you personally, what has surprised you most with this Smith and Libby exhibition? Um, I find people have the, the imagination and the kind of breadth of, of humanity to recognize that even if one of these figures did commit murder or did commit suicide, there's, there's empathy and interest in the people because we share their stories as much more than the, the scandal, you know, or much more than that tragic night. Mm -hmm. And Libby Holman especially lived what feels like nine lives. She was after his death, very involved in civil rights as an activist and an advocate. Um, had, a, had a very interesting musical career afterwards as a proto-folk singer. So I find that people are able to, because they're seeing actual images and they're, they're seeing actual words. And right. I think that's what museums can do that maybe Hollywood can't do, is we can put things in front of you that speak volumes because they're actual objects. Yeah, almost putting the, the facts in there and then maybe letting people's imagination uh, run away with it. Thank you so much, Phil, sure. for all of your uh, education for the community, but also for chatting with us about that today. Again, the Smith and Libby exhibition runs through this Sunday, December 31st. Advanced ticket purchase is recommended. For more information, visit Ronalda.org.